Many successful millionaires and billionaires drop out of college. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, and Mark Zuckerberg all left college before they could collect their diplomas. So if you want huge success, you have to start right now. Forget the degree. Google's director of research complained that there's a negative correlation between being good at programming competitions and being good at the job. It seems somehow good at the competition as an indicator of a bad employee. All these conclusions are wrong. Let me tell you why and how to avoid them in the next five minutes. This is a true story. During World War II, the American military want to better protect their airplanes. They knew they need to add armor to the planes, but the question was, where should they put it? Since they couldn't protect the whole plane, otherwise it would be too heavy to fly. So they examined the plane returning from the combat, see where they were hit the worst. The wing, around the tail, and down the center of the body. And then, they want to reinforce these areas. But Abraham Ward, who worked at the Statistical Research Group SRG, made a glaring observation. The military would make a terrible mistake by upgrading the armor to this area. Why? Because the military was only looking at the damage on returned planes. They overlooked the damage on planes that didn't return. The bullet holes they were looking at actually indicate the area a plane could be hit and keep flying. This is one of the most popular examples of survivorship barriers. Keep the survivorship barriers in mind and please rethink the story of billionaires drop out of college. Google wants to use machine learning to find out what element makes a good employee. To their surprise, the results suggest there is a negative correlation between being good at programming competition and being good at the job. Is that true? Good at programming competitions that will make a person bad at job? Of course not. Let's see a diagram. Good at programming competitions with good at the job. HR aims to hire people who are good at the job. Those red highlight area. However, good at the job is hard to measure, especially only based on several interviews. So Google put too much weight on programming competitions during the interview. The result is they hired people in this area. See, we now get a negative correlation. There are some people who are good at competitions and not so good at work being selected. Meanwhile, some people who are good at work but not that good at competition didn't get the job offer. These two triangular areas explain why Google's director of research has that impression we mentioned at the beginning. If you can think a way to fix it, please leave a comment below. This phenomenon is known as admission rate barriers or Bergson barriers. In 1979, when David Sackett an expert on all sorts of statistic barriers provided strong evidence that Bergson's barriers is real. In one example, he studied two groups of disease, respiratory and bone. About 7.5% of people in the general population have a bone disease, and this percentage is independent of whether they have respiratory disease. But for hospitalized people with respiratory disease, the frequency of bone disease jumps to 25%. Why? Because hospitalized people are a selection part of the general population. Survivorship barriers and admission rate barriers are both selection barriers. They happen because of the incomprehensive sample. Survivorship barriers is when we select only the survivors and come to the conclusion based on their attributes without looking at the whole data site. Admission rate barriers is when dealing with more than one independent variables. We made a selection from the whole data set, intended or not. This independent variable will begin to show some kind of correlation. Can you think of some examples? Leave a comment below. See, if you want to make the right decision, only rely on the big data or experience won't be enough. 
you need to know some statistics. I'm always here at your service. See you in the next one.